Tag, you're it. About 500 snakeheads in the upper Chesapeake Bay are getting tags and you will get paid if you catch one and report it. If you've caught a snakehead, you understand the thrill. Yeah, baby, oh my God, that's a yeah. giant. Now DNR and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are trying to lure us in with money. We're paying them for good information. Here's the tag. Matt Edwards reported the first tag he went bow fishing in Gunpowder Falls on May 19th. And I went to clean the fish and I was like, oh wow, it's got a tag on it. Like, what is this? And I read it and it said that um, there's a $10 reward and to call the number and report the fish. So either $10 for a low reward tag or $200 for a high reward tag. The Department of Natural Resources shared video of their work on the water. Dr. Joe Love is leading the effort for DNR. We're dedicating the work in the upper Chesapeake Bay where we have kind of new fishery developing there and new people to reach out to. We were lucky enough to receive some funding uh, to start this tagging program up there with the intent of encouraging people to harvest the animal and presumably, hopefully, eat the animal because it's very tasty fish. He says snakeheads tend to be homebodies, but some do make long distance movements. We just had a tag report come in and um, that snakehead had moved 4.7 kilometers uh, per day and that was the fastest we've got on record. Snakeheads were first discovered in the bay about 20 years ago. DNR says they are now firmly established in fresh and low salinity tidal waters in Maryland and Virginia. They're invasive. It's illegal to move them and anglers are encouraged to kill them. So Dr. Love says the tagging program has gotten some backlash. What do you say to people who think you should not be throwing back an invasive species? But we do have to learn certain things about this species in order to support a larger preventive strategy. If it helps them like keep track of you know, where the fish are going, how fast they're growing, where they're migrating, how fast they migrate, then I, I guess it could come up with some pretty interesting results. Researchers create an electric field near the boat. They stun the fish and then measure the length and note where it was caught before tagging and releasing it go up under the scale with the needle, we insert it into the muscle, pull the trigger, the tag lodges itself within the skeletal and muscular tissue of the fish. And the hope is you catch and harvest them while the program continues through 2024. If we learn that people are not harvesting snakeheads in the upper Chesapeake Bay, then we might have to switch our tactics on how we reach people. What are you going to do with $10? I don't know. Maybe buy some more fish and stuff or get some Chick-fil-A. Instead of surf and turf, it's fish and chicken for Matt Edwards. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.